Hello YouTube land, it's Debbie from the Canadian Crotcheter. Today is Saturday, July 18th. Uh, it's only been a few days since I've been on, but I figured I got a couple of little things to show you what I've done. So I figured I'd get on here and show you. Um, today it is hot, hot. That's why I look like this, because I've been outside and you can't stay out there very long, it's hot. But the good thing is, uh, my brother's coming with his family to visit today. Um, because my mom is leaving. My mom is going to uh, stay with my daughter for a while uh, in Fredericton. Uh, so she leaves on Monday. So he's coming by to visit her. That's why I'm at home this weekend and not at the cottage. Hubby did go up to the cottage. Him and his buddy are doing some work up there. But uh, I get to stay home and not do any manual labor. <laughs> Just uh, put her around, you know, in the garden, do some crocheting and stuff. Um, yeah, so anyway, before my brother gets here, I figured I'd do a quick uh, little video. I figured I'd show you what I've been up to. Now, I am still working on that big blanket. And I guess I should tell you, it's just a granny, standard granny square blanket that I'm making for Rose for the Wings uh, organization. The Wings organization is a, an organization that helps... Um, battered and abused uh, people to get a restart. So they need uh, twin size blankets and Rose has been collecting squares and putting them together but I figured I'll take it one step further and make a single uh, blanket, uh, granny square blanket for and I've decided to do uh, more boyish colors. So I just went through and wherever I have one skein of darker colors. I'm just making grannies, putting them together. I'm about halfway through putting it together. I won't be showing it here because um, I'll, I'm just going to send it to Rose whenever it's done. It's not a big deal anyway. It's just very big. Anyway, now that I'm rambling, I want to show you a few other things because as you're working on this big blanket, um, I get bored, so I need to take little breaks and do something else in the meantime. So I was watching Jeanette or Soraya at um, DOY Creations. I think she's dropped a seven. Um, anyway, and she she has this hat, and it's called the V Stitch Remix. Is it V Stitch? Yeah, V Stitch Remix hat. I'm like, oh, that's so cute. I'm gonna do it. If you don't know Jeanette from DOY, uh, I'm gonna leave a link down below. She's awesome. She's actually got two channels. I watch both her channels. One is a life blog kind of thing and the other one's the crochet. She is so, so talented. But anyway, I'll leave a link for her. I, I think everyone knows Jeanette. But anyway, or and if you don't, you should. She was doing this hat and I knew right off the bat, as soon as she was making it, that it's gonna be way too big for me. But I did it. I did it exactly the way she does, uh, the way she um, she has it. Hold on. And I'll show you. I have a ponytail on too. This is what it came out like. Seriously? <laughs> I knew. I knew it. But I wanted to make it. This is, this is something for somebody who's got big hair. So I decided to make another one. Now again, I have a ponytail on. But look how cute this is. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. And even this one's a little big because I like my hat snug. But look, look how cute it is. It's, it's a V-stitch with a little um, difference in it. And it's amazing um, for summertime. You know, you got bad hair day, pop on a, one of these and it's amazing. And it's so quick, so quick. So I made... So I made two hats. One will be going to someone with big hair and one will be kept for me. I'm actually, they're so easy. I'm actually thinking of making a few. Now this is made with uh, some leftover, um, I, I wanna say it's a cake yarn because this was all one ball. So it started light and then it gradiated to the dark and then I just continued into this hat. Um, and then you can see it started with the light again. I don't know which one it is. I want to say, I don't know actually, um, but she suggested to use cotton, so that might be my next one because for the summer, pretty awesome, right? Anyway, 
my bad hair day hats. I'm, I love it. Uh, thank you, Jeanette. Awesome tutorial. She does a great job and I love it. So I made those too. And then um, this one took me a little longer. It's a knit hat and this is no pearls for me. Uh, I think it's a free pattern. I'm not sure, but I'll leave a link for it. And it's called No Pearls For Me. It's basically just a knit, 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 knit in the round. And you don't even put a border so that the end curls. And it curls like this. And again, this is a, a little bit of yarn that was left over from, I don't even know, I found it in my scrap bin. But it started with the green and went green, I don't know why, green and purple lately. It's so cute. It's a little big. Like I said, I like my hats um, tighter. But I guess, you know, you can just pull it down, make it slouchier. I love it. I love it. I think it's great. Um, and I'll show you my decrease. Pretty good. I'm getting better. I need to knit more because the only way you're going to get good is if you practice, practice, practice. So, um, yeah. I love this one. I love this one. I actually don't know what yarn it is. I wish I did because it's awesome. Feels so good. I want to say it's got a little bit of wool in it, but I, I can't remember. So I did that. And I'll leave the link for that as well. It's a really easy, I printed this off well before I ever even um, started knitting. Um, and I'm, I'm assuming if you look at this, you could probably do use scraps, small scraps. It's pretty amazing. It's pretty, and it, literally all you're doing is knitting in the round, round, and round. You just keep going. You can make it slouchy. You can make it shorter, and then you decrease. And I use the, what do you call it when you use the big, the magic, magic loop, magic loop method. I think it's called. So I didn't use DPNs. Pretty awesome. Love that. I enjoyed that thoroughly. And then. Um, Another knitted project. Now, if you get offended easily, please look away. Uh, it's so funny because just before this, I was watching YouTube and I'm watching Kayla Crochet Love. She did one too at the same time that I did. I'm like, what are the odds? Um, and she did a great job too. But again, back to this. If you get offended easily, please look away. I made a washcloth. Can you guys see what that says? I don't know. Basically, it's a swear word and it's F2020. I love it so much. <laughs> um, I'm going to send this to uh, my older daughter's guy. I guess he's my son-in-law. They're not legally married, but they're, they're common-law. So he's my son-in-law. He does all the dishes in that household. So I thought he would get a kick out of that. And uh, great practice for me. And uh, yeah, I just followed the pattern. And the pattern is uh, by Get Knit Faced, something like that, by Michelle Bernard. So, and that's also a free Ravelry download, but I believe that there's a few of them out there floating around. Awesome pattern. She not only does she go line by line, gives you exactly when to purl, and that's all it is is knitting and purling. And uh, so she gives line by line, but she also gives you a chart, right? So pretty awesome. Didn't take, I think it took me one evening, which is to me impressive considering that I knitting is so slow for me, but I'm very, very, very impressed with that. I thought it was cute. I'm going to make a couple more for my friends. Very cute. And it is a good statement of the times. <laughs> this is how I feel this year. Really, really. Anyway, and the last thing that I've been making to break up the blanket that I was working on were the ear savers. So I made a couple in like more manly. These are all cotton and I figured that the cotton works better for the ear savers because they don't stretch as much as the acrylic. Um, so they won't get stretched out of shape. So I made ear savers. But not only that, I made like 30 of them in here, 25 at least. 
These ones are going to my daughter. Uh, she's gonna give them out to her friends. So literally 10 minutes. The hardest part is sewing the buttons on, which I hate, but uh, it's a party thing. Now I watched uh, Bella Coco. You don't need to watch more than one. It's really, really easy. You're just working in the round. It makes an oval done, right? And I found some buttons, I don't know if they're in here, like I have ladybugs, and there's like, my mom took a sunshine, like a, the sun button. So yeah, these, I've been making tons of these. These ones are actually for my sons. That's why I went with the darker colors, because they're, they're more manly, right? Um, but yeah, I don't, we are, it is mandatory here for us to wear masks in, uh, uh, closed spaces so like stores and whatnot and I don't go out much and if I do it's like a run to pick up something I don't normally wear them for very long so I never noticed anything and then I did I went to Walmart I think it was last week and I was in there for an hour and a half and after that hour and a half it was hurting and I'm like oh my god how do these people do this all day long so that, you know, at first when I thought people are making these, I'm like, you don't need them. Yes, you do. If you're going to wear more than half an hour at any given time, you need these. They're awesome. So these will be donated to my daughter's friends. These are my sons. And I'm making them in literally 10 minutes. I, I whip off a bunch of them and then I sit and sew the buttons on. Actually, I need to go and buy some more buttons because... I have a lot of buttons, but there are one and one and one and one. And I don't know, can you make two different colored buttons? Can you use two different, I don't know. Anyway, that's what I've been up to. Um, that's all I've been up to besides the big blanket. Um, now, after this, I'm going to insert a clip. After the last video I made, I went to the mailbox and ended up getting some uh, very, very happy mail. And uh, I took a clip of me opening it. So if you want to stick around, I'm going to add it to right after this. And then, um, yeah, that's all I've got. Um, hopefully, uh, the blanket will be done soon. Like, I'm hoping the next few days. And then I can ship it off and move on. Because I'm still printing off patterns, all kinds of patterns that I want to work on. Um, but I haven't had the time to do it. Anyway, I hope everyone is having a wonderful weekend and we will talk soon. Hello YouTube land, it's Debbie from the Canadian Crutcheter. It is still July 15th. Um, I did do the drawing of the semi-finalist winner this morning. Then I went out and did some errands, checked the mail, and there is a box there. Um, I am going to open it on camera, uh, but I won't be posting this today. Just don't have the time but I will attach it to whatever video I do next. Um, this is from someone who's very, very special to me. I've talked about her before. Her name is Wendy, Wendy Wesa. She's, um, she's my fairy godmother. I can't say enough great things about her. And not to divulge too much, she's going through a bit of a, not a bit of a hard time, a really hard time right now. Life is, I would say in the last two years, life has just beaten her down or trying to beat her down, but she's such a strong woman. She keeps coming back. Uh, anyway, right at this moment, she's going through a really, really hard time. And for her to think of me during this time is, I don't even know. Um, Wendy, you should not have done this. I did see um uh, lisa she she got a package from wendy i think it was yesterday i did see that and i bawled through the whole thing even though it was all happy mail but knowing that what the situation is right now i was overcome and let's just hope that i can keep it together for this um so i just cut it open and i have not oh i see some pretty stuff uh, there's a card in here. She is such an awesome lady. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm not going to tell you what the thank you was for. And yes, Wendy, your friendship is such a gift to me as well. Uh, one day, probably not this year, 
we will meet. I have an open door policy for you. You absolutely can come and stay with me whenever. Right now it's difficult, but she knows this. We talk. Oh my goodness. This is Yarn Art Angora Active. <gasps> I've never had anything with any Angora in it. This is made in Turkey. Um, 500 meters or 546 yards. 100 grams. Doesn't say the color. Where is the... Where is... Oh, 25% mohair and 75% acrylic. But look at these colors. And I can't tell you how soft this is. It's like a cloud. And there's two, three, three of them. That is amazing. It's very thin though. I'm going to try to show you. I don't know if I could show you, but it's very thin. I don't know. It's very thin, but oh my God, it's so soft. And the colors, I don't even want to show my mom this because this is one of her favorite colors, this wine burgundy kind of thing. Oh, oh she probably won't like it. She doesn't like anything fuzzy. That's awesome. Oh my goodness, what is in here? What is it, this? To oh my god so this is she made a little wooden sign and this is to debbie and tim tim is my husband and this is for cottage warming oh my goodness wendy okay i said i wasn't gonna do this i'm a mush to begin with and then your situation is just Maybe even more of a mush, and then you do something like this. <laughs> so this is <laughs> this is called Bio Freeze, and it's for cold therapy, pain relief. It's a soothing menthol, vanishing scent paraben free it's for arthritis back pain sore muscles and joints oh my god wendy i so needed this this past weekend uh, i guess i didn't tell it uh tell youtube but we've i was scraping ceilings this past weekend i did post it on instagram oh my god <laughs> i was so sore i was so sore because you know you don't usually use this movement too often and you're on a ladder and you know precarious i was so sore it took like two days to get over it oh my god Wendy this is so awesome Tim's gonna love it he's gonna love it it's gonna be very prominently displayed in our kitchen <laughs> oh my god thank you so much that's so thoughtful oh my goodness what is this the granny square source book <gasps> Uh, I have a couple of granny square books, but look at, I don't want to show too much, but look at the colors. <gasps> oh my goodness. This is so great. <gasps> it's funny. So I don't know if you all meant, um, know that I mentioned that I'm working on a big blanket. Actually, the blanket is for Rose's charity. Rose is collecting granny squares, and I decided I'm going to make all the granny squares, but I'm going to put it together in a blanket as well. Just a straight up, straight up granny square. None of this fancy dancy stuff, but it's it's geared more for the male persuasion. So, and so I was thinking of making other granny squares that she can put together. And these, look at this. Could you imagine a whole blanket out of that? Oh my God, it's so, oh, look, oh my God. That is so stinking adorable. Oh, I can't wait to do some of this stuff. So beautiful. Thank you, Wendy. You should not have done this, but this will definitely be used. Oh my God, thank you so much. You are an absolute sweetheart. I hope things, you know what, I'll text you. Um, thank you so much. Um, it was just, you're just an amazing person and uh, I've said this before, you are strong, you will get through this, and uh, you know, you have no choice, you have to get through this. Uh, I demand it. <laughs> anyway, um, 
Thank you for watching and we will talk soon.